In this video, I will show you how to use the Asset Connect app to write data to a new asset management tag. To begin, select Inventory from the navigation bar. Be sure that a reader is already connected. This is indicated in the navigation bar. Pull and hold the trigger on the reader and point in the direction of asset management tags. The reader can be moved and repositioned to better align with the asset management tag's installed location. You will notice the screen populates with all the asset management tags within range. As more tags appear, a scroll bar will become visible and tags will continue to populate inside of the inventory tag list. You will see New Tag in your inventory list for any asset management tag that has not been previously written to. Double click on the desired New Tag from the inventory tag list. Choose the appropriate asset type. This will take you to the Read Write Tag Operations page. Note that the read on the touch bar is highlighted in yellow, indicating that you are in the read mode. At minimum, one of the four fields in the RFID tag section needs to be populated and set as active. Default is PNID, you can change that as appropriate. Note that once you begin to type data into a field, the write button on the touch bar will be highlighted in yellow. Aside from the date fields, all fields are free text. When entering the information for valve model, please use the standard format of valve type, size, and class, in that order, separated by spaces. When entering the information for actuator model, use the standard format of actuator type and size, separated by a space. Continue entering all needed data for the assembly you are tagging. In the Other Documentation section, there is a free text box that should be used for long-term information that you want to remain with the tag, and it is content revision controlled. The last section of data that can be entered is service details. Again, use as appropriate. One thing to point out, the scratch pad is short-term notes and comments. They are not revision controlled. The date fields can be used as needed to track applicable service and maintenance history. Review all of your entered information. When you are ready, pull and hold the trigger until the message pane tells you the write is complete. It is important to note that if you leave the read write screen at any point before performing the write operation, all edits will be lost and you will need to start the process again. It is recommended that once the tag is written, you immediately install it on the valve. And that's it. We just learned how to write a new tag using the Asset Connect app. For more information, go to emerson.com slash asset tag.